All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone. Salutations to you, Akir, that's teaching the truth and sincerity, the hopeful elect. I got a special guest on the phone with me. And Shalom, Shalom. All praise to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Brother uh, Kazat from uh, Jimmy's Mississippi. And me and his brother was breaking bread, man, and um, we were speaking about, you know, being brotherly and um, dealing with the brotherhood and not having that lone wolf spirit on you, you know, because that's a demon, you know, when you don't want to deal with the brotherhood or you don't want to uh, uh, build with brothers and things of that nature. You just want to be to yourself, you know. Now, don't get it misconstrued. You know, you got brothers with different types of personalities, you know. But when when it comes time to build it with the brotherhood or doing shows and things of that nature, and you still don't want to participate, that's that's a demon, man. You know? You know, Jay want to be all to himself, man. But, you know, with, with, with this truth, man, you got to be a team player, man. You know what I'm saying, and we have to understand it's not it's not a, a, about us as an individual. I mean, you work out your own salvation, you know, but um, you know, it's about brotherhood, man. Because Yahu Yahu Bashim Yahu Shai is dealing with the church, you know. Uh, I got a scripture for you. Done. This is um Hebrews chapter ten. I'll start at verse twenty-four, and let us consider one another. Mm-hmm. To provoke unto love and to good works, mm-hmm. not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together, as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another, and so much the more as ye see the day approaching. Yeah, but uh, it says we're not supposed to be uh, forsaking each other, man. The assembling of ourselves together, man. So we're supposed to assemble. We're supposed to come to come together. You know, the, the brothers and his troops are supposed to come together. We're not supposed to come together with other camps that teach other doctrines. You know, that, that teach false doctrine. We don't come together with them. But you know, uh, us here at uh, Great Millstone, you know, brothers that all uh, teach and believe in the same uh, thing. You know, we speak the same thing. We're supposed to be coming together and exhorting one another, building each other up. You know, motivating each other, sharpening each other. You know, provoking us to good works. You know, uh, a brother see you uh, do, doing a show, or you uh, going into the history, going into prophecies, or you know whatever your gift is, that provoke him to do the same thing, man. So, you know, we supposed to be around each other. Where uh, where one brother lacks, another brother helps build that brother up in that area, and vice versa, man. You know, you know, because that's that's what the Lord is is uh, dealing with, man. And where two or three are gathered together in his name, he's in the midst. You know, Yahweh Shai is there. And, and the spirit of Yahweh Shai is heavy within the brotherhood, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I mean, that's what the Lord is dealing with. That lone wolf spirit, that, that, like you said, man, that's, that's a demon, man. And, you know, brothers that had that demon on them, they got to shake that demon off, man. You know? Kind. Kind. Like the scriptures say, hey, brother, like you said, with two or three of God of my name, the more the merrier, you know, the more the merrier, you know, because you got to remember that, you know, we're all vessels of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, you know, so when we come together, the more power we, that, the, the stronger vibrations we going to have, you know, I got something, this is Hebrews chapter three, verse 13, but exhort one another but exhort one another daily, you know, because the brother said we're supposed to exhort each other. To, well, that's the scripture, you know. And I'm gonna I'm look up this word exhort real fast. And when you read some of these definitions, it says to encourage, to strengthen, all right, to strive to appease by entry, exhorting, and comforting, and encouraging, to instruct, to teach. So we supposed to build each other up, man. You know, and if you got that lone wolf spirit, you know, you all by yourself and all to yourself, 
that's the more the spirits and demons you're gonna have to fight man you know you know we we build and we feed off each other's spirits man you know you know and then when the time of jacob's trouble come you don't even know if you're gonna be around a brother man you don't even know if you're gonna have the brotherhood near you you're gonna wish that you had the brotherhood with you man because at that time you're gonna have to be soldiering by yourself so take advantage of the brotherhood now and today you know because you don't want to be a coulda woulda shoulda dude man i wish i could have built with the brothers more i wish i could have hung out with the brothers did more shows with the brothers because with a job the time of jacob's trouble you might just be by yourself man you know but the scriptures say but exhort one another daily while it is cold today lest any of you be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin and how are you going to be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin because you're not loving your neighbor as yourself you're not respecting the brothers as yourself for we are made partakers of Yahweh Shai if we hold the beginning of our confidence steadfast unto the end you know that was it it, it makes the point though, man. You know, we're supposed to exhort one another daily. <laughs> so, a, a, every day, man. You know what I'm saying? You can just uh, hit a brother up, man. Call a brother, see how a brother doing. You know? I mean, you know, a lot of times, you know, you know, brothers do it different, different, differently. You know, it varies with with, uh, with different camps. But a lot of brothers fellowship on different days. You know, you get together when brothers coming together, man. You know, but brothers get together and uh and do a show you know what i'm saying do a sit down so that, that's all the spirit man you know what i'm saying but but when you spread away from that you get hardened through the deceit from this thing you can you can become proud i don't need to be around them them dudes and all that this and that you know i, I gotta do my own thing and, and then you know that's when them demons come man Darn. you know because because satan he wants to find that weak link in the chain man you know what I'm saying? If you're the weakest link, if you had the lone wolf, if you had uh that that that, that lion that's uh that's straying away from the pack, you're not as strong, man. You know what I'm saying? So I got a scripture for you here. This is uh first Peter's chapter five, verse eight to uh, nine. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil as a roaring lion walketh about. Seeking whom he may devour. He's yeah, that's perfect, man. Because he's sifting, you know. Satan is seeking who he can sift. Uh-huh. You know, he's picking so-called brothers off one by one, even though they're not a part of the elect. You don't want to go through that, man. Right. Because when you by yourself, that's the more demons you gotta fight, man. That's why brothers they be depressed when you leave camp. You know, cause when you at Kent, you could, you could, you, you, like, like the brothers we we was building on. Your, your mind is clear. You know, you ain't got all the negative, impure thoughts in your head. You know, all the spirits ain't fucking with you because the the hedge is around y'all. The the bigger the hedge is around y'all. All right. So it says your adversary, the devil, is seeking who he may devour. And them lone wolves, they get devoured, man. Seeking mm-hmm. whom he may devour. Whom resist steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. You know, so so you, re- you resist Satan steadfast by being in the faith, man. You know, it says, uh, it says in the book of James, Resist the devil, he shall flee from you. You know, and, and one of the ways you resist Satan is about is uh is by being around the brothers, man. You know, because of that spiritual force field. Hey, man, when you just come around, brothers, man, you, you know them demons get mad, man. Time. You know what I'm saying? You probably had a, a negative thought. You probably had a demon fucking with you. All of a sudden, you get around the brothers, man. That that demon leaves, man. You know, a brother can just say something. You know, and, and, and uh, it, it all be through the spirit, man. And, you know, Esau calls that synchronicity. You know, because you you will see something or you will hear something 
that's in sync with the same thoughts that you're having. You know, we call it the spirit though. You know, so a brother can say something, and how is it that that same thing the brother say applies to a situation that you're going through right now? And it rebukes that demon, man. You know what I'm saying? So you around the brothers, man, it's, you know, hey, you just said it, you know, that it's therapeutic. It's healing, man. When you, when you at camp or you around brothers, man, it's healing, man. You know, that's why you get depressed when you leave because, you know, then you should be mad. Then you should be mad because now you got to deal with that shit by yourself. You know, I mean, we soldiers in this thing, you know, but brothers supposed to enjoy brotherhood as much as they can, man, because it's a privilege. And then certain brothers in these different states or, or even around the world, a lot of brothers don't have that, man. Every right. brother's not, you know, uh, in the brotherhood, man. Every brother's gonna have a camp. Every, every, you know, brothers, a lot of brothers in GMS, you know what I'm saying? Even if they out there by themselves. And the Lord is using that to build them up. You know, it's, it's uh, building their character, them being alone. You know, Lord will build the other man with them. But at the same time, every brother isn't a... Uh, in the brotherhood like that man so it's really a privilege you know I got something for you out first Timothy chapter 6 verse 18 that they do good that they be rich in good works ready to distribute willing to communicate man willing to communicate you know what I'm saying being rich in good works and willing to communicate you know, so hey, that's a good work, man. When you when you are uh, around the brothers, you know, when you're doing things for brothers, helping brothers out, you know, just just your presence, man. Okay. You know what I'm saying? The fact the fact that you're there, man. The fact that you took your time out because because uh, Jake don't like to sacrifice anything, man. You got to sacrifice some truth, man. Okay. You know, willing to communicate when you communicate to, to brothers when you talk to brothers, that's a sacrifice, man. You know, let a brother know how you doing, man. You know what I'm saying? Or see how a brother doing. Communicating. You know what I'm saying? If you're going to do something, you know, there's different, different ways you go about doing it. You know, uh, you might need help or something. You got to communicate, man. You know what I'm saying? Time. You got to communicate. You know? There's some more to that, brother? Um, lay it up in store for themselves a good foundation against the time to come that they may lay hold on eternal life yeah because we always speak about a spiritual bank account right you know going, you know going back to what the elder apostles will speak about you know spiritual bank account so you're storing up your treasures in heaven and you laying up uh, your good works man which are your riches but a part of that is the brotherhood man how you treat brothers you know because how you treat brothers you know, your Howard Shaw looks at that like, well, you know, that's how you would treat me. Right. You know what I'm saying? You know, so, you know, uh, being up for the brothers, man, and then laying down your life for the brothers. And then it says, uh, if you had this world's good, you know, for brothers that have money, you know, or they have different ways that they can help brothers out. If you had this world's good and you, uh, you know, don't help your brother out, I'm just paraphrasing. I dwell the love for the most high in you. You know what I'm saying? And, and you know, and that's, that goes back to what they call a universal law. Whatever you give, it comes back to you anyway. You know what I'm saying? You, you uh, help a brother out, man. You know what I'm saying? And you pay your tithes. You, you know, you, uh, you give alms, you give offerings. That all comes back to you, man. You know what I'm saying? And the Lord can save you from a, a dangerous-ass situation, man. You know what I'm saying? It's, Hey, man, it's, it's a lot of shit going on in the spirit. Some shit we don't even see, man. You don't know how these demons want to take you out. And then going back to, uh, you know, First Peter 5 and uh, 9, you know, because I didn't uh, finish it, so I just... Okay, but yeah, but... Uh, whom, whom resist steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same affliction are accomplishing your brethren that are in the world. So the same demons fucking with all of us. You know? We all in hell together, man. You know what I'm saying? It, it, that's, another, that's another thing, too. Jacob look at it when they catch a hill. And, and it's happened to me, too. So I'm not speaking the old, you know. It just happened to brothers. Now, it happened to me, too, man. You know, you would look at a certain situation you're going through as if you're the only one going through something. But we all in hell together. You just don't see when a brother's going through something, man. 